What's up guys, this is Abel here, bringing you the first episode of Road to Render. Uh, this is an introduction episode, to be honest, I'm just going to be showing you what I'm going to be doing and how to start up a project. So, in the description below, I will have a link to a little pack that I've made. And this, in my opinion, is all you need like for this edit so far. So what I've done is I've put in three clips. I've got a five-man feed on sub-base, cod feed with an L811 on underground, um, and a care package stored by me, which is a leftover, I should probably add. And I've put in gunshots for all the thing. I've put in a song, which is the one I'm using. You don't have to use that song. You don't have to use the clips. You don't have to use anything. It's just what I'm using, and I thought if you guys didn't have any clips or didn't have any song ideas, I would put that in for you. I'm also I've also put in uh, artist suggestions for rap, for rock, and for drum and bass. So if you're a bit stuck and want, don't want to use the song I'm using, then I've given you some artists so you've got some ideas of what to do. And you don't have to use the same clips, but I will be showing you uh, with these clips. So I will be starting off. This today, I'll just be showing you how to set up and how to mark, put your markings in for your beat on the audio and the composition settings. And then, the next episode, I will be doing colour correction for all genres of music, pretty much. I will be doing, after that, time remap syncing for feeds and Twixter syncing. And how the motion track, which will be a two-part thing. Um, I've got it all lined up. Basically, everything that I think that <laughs> everything I know, everything that you possibly want to know, will be explained at some point throughout this series. So, if you do want to learn something, or you want me to put an effect that you don't understand in, um, by, by all means, comment on the video and tell me, and then I'll try and work it out. Or if I know it, I'll just put it into the next one. I'll say, oh, we'll do a, this effect on this. Um, so, like, I'm just trying to help you guys learn every way to edit. So yeah, this is in the description, all of this, and um, also I will be putting the link for the background, which is sexy, made by one of our GFX called Ashes and Jasses. It's a really sexy background, I really like it, so I'll put that in, and I'll put his channel in as well, and I'll also put the channel for the person who hit the clips, he is a sick player, so go check him out as well. So, let's get this started. I'm going to open up After Effects, and going to import everything I've got here, so whack it in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this project, oh, wrong one. save the project and I'm going to call it RTR, the road to render, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag, oh no, I'm going to, first of all I'm going to make a new composition, which is this little sort of, oh, you can see me hovering over there, create a new composition, just click on that. You're going to want to make it 1280 by 720. You're going to want to keep square pixels, 59.94 frame rate. Full resolution is very important. And I'm going to make it 2 minutes exactly, because I don't think I'll be going over that. And the background colour as black. And just, I'm going to rename it actually quickly to set RTR main. So that is our composition made. Great save. So next, I'm just going to drag in my song, which is L+, plus, take me higher. And I'm going to drag it in, just drop it in, I'm going to double tap L on the keyboard. And that's going to bring up my waveform. As you can see here, the beat, the drop for the song will be there, I think. So I'm going to probably give myself 20 to 25 seconds for an intro. I would say 20 seconds, don't want to make it over the top. So exactly on 20 seconds, because I'll be OCD. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag the audio along. Uh, zoom in using these buttons at the bottom. There's, I think they're a mountain range, I'm not sure. It looks like a mountain range to me, and there's a small one and a big one, and obviously the big one zooms in, the small one zooms out. So yeah, so I zoomed in, and I'm just going to move it along. So as you can see there, it's lined up with the beat. All right, if I zoom out, uh, you can see that at the beginning, it's going to be all of a sudden, it's just going to kick in. Like if I pre render now, which is this button up here, if I press it, it just kicks straight in. Uh, so I'm probably just going to have to add a keyframe to make it ease in. So I'm just going to do that, press that again, 
as you can see there's an audio and then drop down to audio level so I'm going to keyframe to begin with uh, minus 20 so as you can see it's uh, 20 decibels less I'm probably going to go along 2 seconds ish and I'm going to put it back up to 0 so now if we listen again it fades, it fades in and it's a lot cleaner and doesn't sound too bad so uh, that will be that and now I'm going to sync it for the first minute, I'm going to get the beat, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the layer, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see you after I've done it, and I'm just going to hit this pre-render, and that will play the audio, and then I'm going to listen along, and I'm going to hit, if you have a Mac, you're going to want to hit Control and the number 8, which has the star above it, or if you've got a Windows PC, you're just going to want to hit the star key on the numlock pad, and that will create a marker in your layer. I'll quickly do it now to show you, and you see, as I just hit it there, that will appear, that marker, uh, I'll delete it, um, but what you won't see it come up when you're doing it, but you've just got to tap with the beat, or you got to sort of feel the beat, <laughs> as good as it sounds, you'll feel the beat as you go along, and you just tap, and then when you um, finish, I'll show you and you'll see what you should have left, so I'm just going to stop recording now, I'm going to uh, find the beat places, and then I'm going to start recording again and show you what I've done. Hey guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have listened to the music, I've pre-rendered, and I've tapped to the beat, and if if I zoom in, you can see that it's a pretty general sort of placement of it. Um, so yeah, if, if, you, if you zoom in, you can see that it's a little bit out, and it will be, it doesn't have to be exact, it's sort of a rough guideline, and then when you, so you know where to place the shot, and then you can zoom in and adjust it to know that it's completely right, as I'm doing now. I'm just going along and I'm just adjusting where I think the beat will be. So there, and I'll move this one along a bit. And obviously, you don't have to do this for all of them, but um, you can do it as you go along, which is what I usually do. But this is really handy technique because now you know, like every other one, you might want to sink a shot on. Um, it, just, it just really does help for your syncing because you know exactly where the beats are. And that is it for this episode. But I know it's not much, I've just literally shown you a very brief introduction, uh, <laughs> just adding the song. But I promise you that next episode we get stuck into the colour correction. So as I said, I'll do one, because I'm giving you guys rap, rock and uh, drum and bass, I'll do one for each one. And then I'll also put the file into the description for you guys so you can actually use my CC that I've made. But you can also follow along and add your own touch and change it and make it your own. Uh, but that will be next episode. And for episodes, I'll probably do them every two to three days. Except if they get 40 likes, then I will post the next episode the next day straight away. Uh, so you guys can keep going with this. But please leave your feedback and please support this because I am doing it to help you guys out. So it would really mean a lot to me if you could just like and comment on what you thought. Uh, or dislike if you didn't think it was helpful, which this might not be so helpful, but um, as like I said, it's just started. And then there's also all the download and all the descriptions, so make sure you read that. And I will be back next episode, guys. So until then, um, peace, I suppose. I'll see you guys later.